Good morning. In today's short video, we are going to cover a very useful tool which will help you aggregate all or some of your Google My Business listings into a single table to pull metrics. And this is great if you're in-house and your business has, you know, a number of locations, anywhere from, you know, one to a thousand really. And if you're an agency, it's also a great way to monitor all clients in one place. So uh, what I'll start with today is the end template, what we're going to get to and show you quickly how to set this up for yourself for your own GMB listings. Um, first, this is the template that we're working off of, um, and it's something that basically leads with a table that's going to show each location and metrics pertinent to it, such as total views, website visits, phone calls, direction requests, and actions. So right now for our test data, we just have a couple locations, but this is really limitless how many this can pull. We've pulled as many as three or 400 at a time. Gets a little slow, but uh, definitely a great way to aggregate it all. Um, so what you're gonna have within this template, it begins with a table with all of your listings. Um, you're gonna have a date range selector to pick which date ranges you wanna report on. And as you scroll down the template, what you're also going to see are sort of some trended views of total search impressions. So this aggregates all the business listings. Um, and then we have uh, total actions. So a great way to see as we're optimizing listings, uh, you know, if we're getting more traffic, more actions, et cetera. Um, what we've also thrown into this template is a location filter down here. So if you wanna look at the trend of any specific location, you can just hit that drop down, choose your location, and then look at the trended view as well. So you can get micro, but I think the real value is getting the aggregate on this. So doing this is actually really easy. Um, We've created the template for you. Um, your first step is going to be to make sure you have a Google account where you have the locations for which you want to report claimed. So in this example, you can see for our test data, we have two locations claimed in this account. And what I'm doing here is just going into the Google My Business uh, home screen. So we want to make sure that all the listings we want to report on are sitting right here. Next, there's a link below the video, also in the blog post, that'll take you to our template right here. And you're just gonna visit this template page. So cut and paste or click on the link, that'll take you to this template. And when you get to this template, you're gonna see our test data. And what I'm gonna walk you through next is a really quick process to pull in your actual data here as well. So um, first thing, top right, what we're gonna do is look for the template clone button right here. So we're gonna click that. And if you haven't used Data Studio before, if you have, the, next, the rest of this will be very simple. If you haven't, um, what's uh, what we're basically going to do is just connect up your own data. So it's going to remove our data and add your data in. So under new data source, what I'm going to do is hit the drop down to select a data source. And we're going to create a new data source. So we're assuming that you do not have this data source created already. And in uh, basically we'll begin by giving our data source a name. So I'm just going to maybe call it GMB listings. You can call it whatever you like. And down below, we're going to look for the connector. So this is, uh, if you're not familiar with Data Studio, this is essentially the tool that's going to allow you to connect to Google My Business. Um, so if you actually use the search box and just start typing Google My Business, you get a few choices. Now we've got links in the blog post to each of these to tell you the pros and cons of each of these services. Um, all of them offer a free startup, so you can definitely you know, grab your data for free for a certain period of time. We're going to go with Supermetrics because they're a little bit easier to work with. Um, but Power My Analytics is also another choice. It's a little less expensive, but uh, the initial setup's a little more um, complicated. So with Supermetrics, we're basically just going to hit Select. And it's a step-by-step -step process, so uh, you don't need to be overly technical here. It's going to ask you to authorize the app. So we're going to go ahead and authorize. And if you're not catching this, uh, what we're doing is just basically signing into our Google account and allowing the app to access our Data Studio account. And I'm just finishing in logging in and here when it asks us which Google account we're going to log into we of course want to use the one that has the Google My Business listings um, you know approved verified and this will be through this in just a second now in the next step we're going to be prompted to select the locations for which we want to report and 
this little drop down down here is going to list all of the locations which we just saw in our Google My Business account. Um, so what you want to do again is get all the locations you want to report on into one account. Um, and I'm just going to select both of these and I'm going to go ahead in the top right hit connect. And now what the uh, plugin here is going to do is connect to our Google My Business account. It's going to pull in all the relevant fields. There's absolutely nothing you need to do here. If you're new to Data Studio, don't get overwhelmed. Just go ahead and click Add to Report. And it's just going to ask us to confirm that our new data source, and this is GMB listings, this is the one we just created. We're going to go ahead and create report. And now what has basically happened is we've you've taken the template which we've created, you've attached your own data. And in a second, you'll see here, now you have your own report. So this is your own private report now that has your own data in it. So by copying our template, you're not sharing your data with anybody else. You're simply just adding your data to it. Um, and I'll just give this a second to load. And this is uh, gonna look very much like our template because we're actually using the exact same locations. But um, when you are to clone yours, and once the data loads, you're gonna see your own locations populate. And it's gonna look a little bit like this. So out of the gate, we've got you started with a very basic dashboard to get your listings in here. Um, you, of course, can customize um, this. We're not really covering all the Data Studio features, but there's tons of ways to customize this data, pull other metrics. Um, you know, some common metrics that we might pull are the number of reviews we have, our average review rating, stuff like that. But all really cool stuff to show your clients or to track, you know, a lot of locations uh, or even just a few locations all in one place and sort of get that real time reporting. Uh, Hope this is helpful. Uh, comment below with any questions. Good luck.